5.50 p.m. Pick up sliced seats and Watson deli meat, freshly made Italian bread, and Lewis dairy milk. Radio check one, two, one, two. Jessica's juice is on. Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got in juice? Hey, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. She's making all the headlines now. She says that she's never seen cash before, and she's excited to just buy candles for herself. So now that her Never seen cash, buy candles. What? Yeah, has ended. Britney Spears listed off the things that she can't wait to do, and that includes buying candles. Oh. Freedom. It was about 14 years ago where she just lost control of her life after a judge ordered several people to hold down her conservatorship. It's well known that the singer could not handle her affairs or finances from that point forward. And it was only until this year when the world said, nope, we're going to help Britney get out of this. And everybody rallied together. She got a perfect lawyer to back her. They went to the judge and she won. Okay. She also said that um, she could not make decisions for her life. She never saw cash. She wasn't even able to buy candles for herself. She said that all my family should go to jail. Mm. And um, she says that she's going to keep the peace, keep her mouth shut. There are some things that she says she has not forgotten. And she says everyone knows exactly what I mean when I say that. Now, there's a video that has been uploaded that Spears expressed her excitement about having the keys, <clears throat> excuse me, the keys to her car, excited for her independence. She has an ATM card. She can buy candles for herself. She said all these little <laughs> things make candles. a huge difference. Yeah. Candles. All these things, she says, make a huge difference. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay Brent. Okay. Uh, okay. Wow. I can't imagine. Imagine not being able to have an ATM, a car, a drive, go buy yeah. candles, go buy something for yourself. You just get used to that life. You just Can't don't know. Can't imagine. Can't and then, imagine. And then she's giving her freedom back. Hey. Okay, Brett. I mean, don't go too wild now. <laughs> yeah. Don't shake your hair or anything. You know, don't get that umbrella and don't start beating cars with it. Right. Calm down, girl. Calm down, girl. We got your back. <laughs> wow. That's just unbelievable. Yeah, Somebody having that free. much control. She says, I am free. Mm, wow. All right. So there you have it with that. Crazy, now, crazy. Stevie J. You know, I've been keeping you up to date with Stevie J, Faith Evans. Well, Stevie J accuses Faith Evans of cheating inside of their home really inside of their home you heard me correctly Mm. so a video of their argument has now gone viral now hold on cvj ain't no angel Uh, no 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 (laughs) (laughs) i don't know about them i don't know what he did with her but i know stevie j's like past i know i know he ain't no angel now a video of their argument has now gone viral where you can see the two Sharing beep yous and I hate you and different insults and all things are right. going down in these videos now. All right. And then he's also calling her a B and stuff is heated. So they've kept the bulk of their relationship behind the scenes because of, you know, different headlines. Um, now, Stevie J, though, is just saying that Faith Evans failed their marriage. And um, he says that she cheated on him in their home. Wow. That's what he's coming out and saying. Now, yesterday, the headline said that they were seen on the beach. Pictures were taken of the two doing cartwheels together on the beach. So, first off, are they getting a divorce or not? Second off, are they going to be working it out or not? Third, did she really cheat in their home? Does that make it ten times worse? Oh, I think so. I mean, this is like... Hold on, like in the bed? Like In their bed. That's like the ultimate yeah. disrespect. The, like the ultimate. Yeah. Like, I can't even, like, like Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> like, yes. we're going to the extreme. Wow. Like, I mean, done. Done. Meet Jessica Bobbitt. Yes. <laughs> I will say it proud. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, French Montana, he did announce the new release date for They Got Amnesia. All right. So his album was initially scheduled to drop last week. He French says Montana, that's your boy. That uh, people have been saying that he has a chip on his shoulder and all this stuff. So I talked to him, found out what's right, going on with him. Fought, right. You know, different fans have been trolling on him or whatever. He's doing all right. Um, his next studio album is coming out. And, um, you know, he just wants everybody to calm down. It was expected to drop on November the 12th. He sent you last a couple, Friday. couple texts. He did. 
and um, it was nowhere to be found. Now, there's a little bit of an explanation. He's blaming Doja Cat on a few things, you know, because these two are going back and forth with a few things. And um, nonetheless, he continues to say that there's going to be a new release date and it's going to be this Friday the 19th is what okay. Poppy is saying. <laughs> okay? I do like French Fontaine. All right, that's what he's saying right now. 852. You can register to win the 2021 Honda.